and future doctors. This is Dr. Dipen for you and I will be guiding you with certain topics of biology. So today a very important topic that we are starting with and that is enzymes. Now what are enzymes? So if we have to define enzymes, enzymes are basically a catalyst. And what does a catalyst do? It basically speeds up the reaction. And such catalysts have been used in any living organism's body. And since it is used in a living organism's body, we call it as a biocatalyst. So to define it, enzymes are biocatalysts which accelerates a particular chemical reaction. So when we are saying it is accelerating the chemical reaction, what is it specifically doing? Basically, whenever in a reaction, a reactant has to be converted into a product, it requires certain amount of energy for that process to be taking place. Now, basically, if the reactant is converted into a product, why that energy is required? It is required in order to break the bonds and form new bonds to produce the products. So this energy, we call it as activation energy. So if this much amount of energy is required, in presence of enzyme, the reactant will be converted into product with a very much amount of activation energy. So, you concluded that enzymes always reduce the activation energy for a particular chemical reaction. Now, coming to certain characteristics of enzymes. Now, we are aware the properties of enzymes like enzymes are proteins in nature. So, these are proteinaceous compound. But we are also aware that all enzymes are proteins, but all proteins are not enzymes. So basically there are certain exceptions. There are certain exceptions like ribozymes. We are not going into detail into that topic right now. At this point, we are just restricting that enzymes are proteins. But yes, there are certain exceptions available. Second property. What is the nature? Then enzymes are colloidal in nature. What is a colloid? We are aware that a mixture can be a solution, it can be a suspension, it can be a colloid. And a colloid has dispersion phase, dispersion medium. So basically enzymes have such colloidal nature wherein they have a large surface area and it allows many reactants to be converted into product at simultaneous time. Then enzymes can react well with acidic as well as basic compounds. That is why they are known as amphoteric in nature. So there are certain chemicals which react with acid and base. So even enzymes work at acidic pH also and at basic pH as well. Next property is enzymes are substrate specific. Now what does substrate mean? Substrate is nothing but a reactant. And a particular reactant only will be converted into product. Not any kind of reactant can come and bind with the enzyme and it can be converted into product. So enzymes are substrate specific that is they react with a specific reactant. Now what is that quality that makes it specific to a particular type of substrate? Then let us visualize a diagram of an enzyme. So this is the enzyme that I am describing over here. Now enzyme has a particular location, it has a particular site where a substrate can come and attach. Such sites are known as the active sites. So the active site is the structure, it is a specific design where substrate will come and bind. So suppose I am taking particular substrates example, there is substrate number 1, substrate number 2, substrate number 3, substrate number 4, there are 4 different types of substrates and any specific type of substrate can bind with the active site then you can visualize from the above diagram that at least substrate number 5 that can come and bind with the active site and it can be converted into product. One more important point to remember apart from enzyme having an active site enzyme also has an additional site. This site we call it as allosteric site. What is the importance of anesthetic site? We'll describe in our next video. But basically, you have to remember there are two sites in an enzyme. One is active, other is allosteric. Last property that is known as enzyme optima. Optima meaning 100% functioning. Now, enzymes can function best at a particular pH and particular temperature only. It cannot work in extreme pH and extreme temperature. Because at high temperature, we are aware that enzymes get destroyed, which we call it as denaturation even at low temperature enzymes gets inhibited 
So there has to be specific optimum temperature and pH condition in which the enzymes function the best that is known as enzyme optima. Lastly, the efficiency of enzyme is described by a property known as catalytic power that is how much amount of reactant can be converted into product. So there are two such properties which can describe the efficiency. One of them is known as KM, another is known as TUN. What is KM? KM is Michaelis Menten constant and the other property is TUN that is known as turn over number. So, for such topics, stay tuned for my next video. Bye-bye. Good day.